Hi there! In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to incorporate a straightforward UI button that enables you to initiate custom logic within your web AR experience. Before we begin, feel free to follow along by cloning the A-Frame World Effects template project, which can be found in our project library. To begin, let's create a 2D button in the body.html file. As 8th Wall utilizes JavaScript and HTML, we'll use the button tag to establish the button. We will assign an ID to the button so we can reference it in the code later. For this example, we've named it my button. The phrase change color will be the text displayed on the button. Now, let's add some CSS styling to the button. Create a file named main.css to begin customizing its appearance. We will first set a font family for the text within the body to sans serif. Then the styling for a button to display 2D element property ensures that CSS styling uses absolute positioning along with a z-index of 1, which positions the UI above the AR content. Now, I'll add some more basic styling to the button to give a centered position, purple background, white bold text, and rounded corners. Lastly, let's add a background color to the button to indicate when it's clicked. We'll choose a dark blue color for this purpose. Let's head over to app.js and import our CSS file into our project. After implementing these changes, you can test your project, and the button should now be visible on your screen. Next, we'll create an A-frame component to manage the button interaction. You can write logic right in app.js, but we suggest using components, as they are integrated into the app's lifecycle and ensure that all components are fully loaded before the code begins executing. We've created a new file called changeColor.js, which contains our changeColor component. First, we'll use document.getElementById to retrieve the button by its assigned ID, my button. Next, we'll create a handle click function and add an event listener that listens for the button click event. To verify that everything is working correctly, we'll add a console log statement to the function to display a message when the button is clicked. Our component is nearly complete. The next step is to register the component in app.js file. To do this, we'll need to assign a unique name to the component. For this example, we'll use the name change color button. Finally, we need to add our component to the A-frame scene. Let's add our component name as an attribute to the ASCENE tag. After running your code, you should see a message change color in the 8th wall console. Now, the fun part. Let's finish by adding the color changing logic. Let's add an ID to our A box element so we can reference it from the code. Inside the init function, we'll need to set up reference for the box. We will use the document.getElementById myBox method like we did for the button. Then, we'll set a color attribute on our box entity. Here, we'll do box.setAttribute color, and then a hex color of FFFF00, which is yellow. Great job. We're now ready to test our project and see the changes in action. With just a few lines of code, we've successfully created a connection between our 2D UI and the 3D scene. Thanks for following along, and happy building with 8th Wall.